I mean Kyoto? We're going to Japan! Machina Dakuni. As we sit here and go through this, I have waited a little bit to see what people's reaction on social media are. My patience to cover this, this, this release information was to kind of wait and see what the community's reaction is. And oh boy, is it volatile. I will get into the, the rank changes, I'll get into the, the terminal attack and the cash out, the controversy there. But right now, I just want to sit down and nitpick everything in the trailer that people aren't talking enough about. I watched this right after it came out. Um, it's had time to simmer on my mind. I've had time to let this brew in the mind, you know? And I've, I've I've developed some thoughts that I think are very different to the community, and I think that is very sad. But right now, I'm gonna sit down and watch the trailer and be thankful for the studio that is Embark. If they Rainbow succeed, Layton, right there. It can take us anywhere. That skin is so mid. Sorry. All right. Cosmetic wise, gas. This one, cool, never gonna use. Uh, I gotta see how this looks on a medium and a light. I think heavy ruins a bunch of cosmetics. I'm not a big heavy guy. Uh, I have fun when I play them. This red jacket, gas. Pants, pretty cool. Red jacket, gas. We're using it. The sniper skin here with the tripod makes it actually look like a sniper. Um, I'm actually gonna snipe because of how cool this skin is. This, not my style, not excited. This, not my style, not excited. Maybe, uh... I might, I might use the beret. I might get this whole skin just for the beret. Just putting that out there. I'm excited for the cosmetics. Um, everything here, every cosmetic here, absolutely gas. Absolutely gas. This mask with this full outfit or this helmet with some of this, even this robe with some of the different things. I know that's gotta be a head, a head coverage. <laughs> absolutely fire i don't know if the kids are saying fire anymore but holy oh I, I am a sucker for japanese themed cosmetics in video games this looks awesome i know it doesn't matter what you look like but in a game like the finals that has such a deep customization of your character when you're going into an arena and already has so many good cosmetics i'm about to be overly critical but let me let me tip my hat to these these cosmetics all right long story short i might i might not keep all that glazing in the video but all of this gas Look at that sniper skin. Just gonna say it. Look at, look. I don't even, I hate the sniper. This is gas. I mean, Kyoto? We're going to Japan! Machina Dakuni. I mean, does this not look gorgeous? Look at this map. Look at that. Looks pretty big too. The bow? I will be the number one bow player. Give me, give me three days. Number one bow player. This is awesome. Hey, might be a hot take. I think something that's lightweight like that takes way more skill than the, switch, the sledgehammer does. If you have a game that does melee weapons well in a competitive sense with guns in there, it'll be the first of its kind. Am I wrong? It, this, if this game, if Embark Studios can find a way to balance melee weapons in a way where they're, they're actually fun to, to play with and go against, I think they would be the first, the first ever competitive PvP game to pull it off. I hate Light Sword. I hate it. I, oh God, I hate it. I'm super excited for all these melee weapons. Also, this is awesome. Blocking bullets. It looks like he was still taking damage too. So here's the new rank mode, Terminal Attack, 5v5. Um, super controversial. We'll get back into that after this. But um, here are the skins in a clear. Again, this sniper skin. I have to hit some clips with this, even though I hate sniping. I have to. This, I will be the number one bow player. Give me three days, I swear. Hold me to it. Hold me to it. I will be the number one bow user on the finals after three days. Hold me to it. This is ironic. Also, did you catch that? Um, this is going to be awesome. How do we, this right here, how do we adjust the speed? That was cool. He pulled him in with a chain like he was Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. And it looks like it's gonna take some skill to land that. Hitting that, bringing him in, and then hitting that animation with the staff. How satisfying is that gonna be? All right, so that's it. June 13th, 
Um, I am so excited. I've seen a variety of opinions. All right. Also, I've seen Thixie's YouTube video. Um, I'm going to link it down below. I think he describes the community reaction and what you should think of it. Gives a very good take on it. Now, before I get too into the weeds, I know you've seen me play a few other games here. I am not exclusively a f the finals player, but the finals has organically become my number one game. X Defiant just came out. I've been giving it the old college try. Now, I'm a super competitive guy. I, I work full time. I take I take college classes. I'm a dad. I'm a husband. So I am, by all definitions of the word, a casual when it comes to competitive games like this. I do not have much time to commit to getting good at games. Um, I'm blessed to say I think I'm a little bit above average. I just games just kind of come to me. X Defiant came out, and I get the competitive urge to become the the best I I can be over there. And as soon as I got a few guns gold over there, we mastered sniping. Now I've just got the itch to play the finals again. And then the season three trailer drops. I am so excited to dig into season three am i disappointed that it's going to be terminal attack and not cash out yes i am i really like the unique dynamic that the game mode cash out brought to the fps scene in general um it was something no one has done before i enjoyed the you could get second place and still move on uh, that really the biggest thing about that it really helped with cheaters if there was a blatant cheating team there was only one in your tournament you could go for second place all the way up to the end and if you got second place in the tournament you're generally still going to get enough fp to at least inch towards your goal of ranking up i think in terminal attack that's going to be a whole lot harder to deal with cheaters I will have to see if they update the anti-cheat or anything, but there are, have been a few times in this game's life cycle where cheating has gotten really, really bad. So I really hope we can avoid that. If we can, then I'm I'm excited. Another thing is, um, I'm fine. I, I have a lot of people that I'm excited to play with, but five players for someone who wants to grind ranked without solo queuing is gonna be hard. Hope you, hopefully you have five consistent friends that are on the finals all the time, but I know a lot of people don't. The biggest thing that sits with me weirdly is the backlash that I'm seeing on social media is so toxic and, and gaming as a community in general has become this toxic cesspool of people getting so angry immediately as a knee-jerk reaction and then looking at the closest reciprocatory person that they see when they say it, which is usually a game dev or a community manager who's there to make sure that they're transparent with information on your, like, for you so that you can enjoy the game and you look at them and you be, you get personal you get so angry that you get personal embark studios in the finals is the only game studios now i don't know where you came from if you came from apex you came from ea and if you came from cod you came from activision i don't know what high horse you're riding on but the community experience over there is terrible so I've got some gripes with some things that Umbark has done here and there, but holy crap, are they pampering us compared to everyone else in the gaming studio? The entire life cycle, the betas included, when have they not been open to feedback? They drop season three and every single thing that I see in that trailer is super exciting. Big change is to make ranked mode terminal attack. When have they not been open to community feedback? I mean, look at terminal attack when it was added. It was supposed to be here for what, a week or a season? And everyone demanded it to be kept and and then they kept it and then they kept it so what part of this makes you think that when season three comes out and if terminal attack ranked is terrible what makes you think they won't change it to make it a better experience they will they if you look at their track record i can't see the future if you look at their track record every single thing points to if something is bad and the community hates it they will fix it now the dash sword light exploit I've hated that. The cheating situation, I've hated that. Some of the other things the community has been upset with, I I've resonated with, but never, 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 ever should you go after a game developer or community rep in a way that is personal, especially with the makers of this game that are that are w ab way above industry standard. That is one of the biggest things I want to take away from um, looking at season three and getting excited for. The people that are that are getting angry to the point where they need to lash out to the game devs in a way that is that toxic need to just get out of the community and stop playing games and go seek a therapist. That aside, player customization in this game is one of the one of the best in in all of gaming right now. I cannot wait to see some of the Japanese themes that come out with the with the cosmetics, um, the the bow, the thermal bore for light. Um, my favorite ability is dematerialization on medium, and 
I'm thinking if I'm really good with the bow, the grapple, and I'm using the thermal bore, I get the best of everything that I really enjoy. We don't even know what they're going to do with tuning, what the patch notes are going to be yet. Placing aside, there is much more to be excited for than there is to dread, and Ambark is, as a studio has shown time and time again, they are more than willing to listen to the community after they've made a change. All of that aside, now a little bit of my criticism, healthy criticism. This game I grinded into the dirt and I set my eyes on something which was the diamond rank, the top rank. We ended up hitting diamond. Once I hit diamond, I kind of felt like I had beaten the game. Now, I hit diamond four. There are some people that are diamond one and man, what a grind that is. But um, being a dad and working, the, the appeal to diamond one without any cosmetic rewards didn't really appeal to me. So once I hit diamond, I knew I was gonna get that diamond F car. I felt like I beat the game. So when other games came out, I felt pretty comfortable to go and try and play them while I waited for season three. I really hope that this um, champion circuit that's replacing the appeal for quick cash and that type of that they're advertising it as if you're going to really sell yourself in the arena style um, to these sponsors. If they can come up with a system for me to go into quick cash with some of my buddies and play in pubs and try and earn something towards these different these different sponsors and brand names and really build myself as a champion in the arena, like make a, some character identity. Like every single time I load in, I am I'm inching towards something. I really hope that's what they capture in the main mode. And then if if I really feel that competitive edge, I can dig deep and go for Emerald over and Terminal Attack. And that means both game modes are very healthy and they offer some sort of progression on both sides. The biggest thing I wanna avoid is hitting the top rank and feeling like I beat the game and then getting into this repetitive, okay, so do I pub stomp? Uh, do I do the same thing I've been doing and ranked for no other rewards? It's, I want there to be something more. And it sounds like there isn't that max rank over on quick cash to chase, but there's something new, which means that there's gonna be two things to chase, which doubles that opportunity, in my opinion. If you disagree, let me know down below, but on the contrary to what I see everyone else saying, it seems like the way they're splitting this off, they're not taking quick cash out, it's the main focus of the game. If there's something to chase there with these brands and character development over this way, and I can go towards this actual rank above my character's head this way, that just seems like more content to me. I could be wrong. They could completely fumble it, and I will eat my words if they are going to do that. But the way it sounds to me and from what I've seen, I do not think we have we have any reason to worry. So if you saw the Season 3 for the finals and got excited at the Game Awards, my overall message is get excited. Um, there are a few other games that were announced, uh, like Black Ops 6. If I was looking at someone who plays COD, everyone is getting hyped about Black Ops 6. There is no the final cycle. There is a COD cycle. I do not think that it is safe to get excited for Black Ops 6. I think it is very safe to get excited for the final season 3 because of the dev studio and how much they care about the community. So get excited. Um, if you are, let me know down below. If, if there's something you are really, really critical about that you hope does not end up a certain way, let me know there too. And I hope to see you guys in the arena over there in um, season 3. And I cannot wait to be in Kyoto, Japan for the rest of season three. Also, I can't wait to see what this uh, menu looks like because uh, if you guys remember from season one to season two, the menu change was huge and something you log on every single day to see something fresh. Um, I loved this. Uh, I can't wait to see what they do in season three, but all that being said, I appreciate your guys' time and um, I will see you guys in the next one. Can't wait to play with you guys season three. Peace.